Here's the narrow cord version that has a 5 inch cord canard, 5 inch cord main wing with a 1.5 inch control surface. The total length of this bundle is about 32 inches and it is approximately 6 inches in this dimension and 6 inches tall. So for packing and transport purposes this is what you're dealing with. And it's assembled like this. So the main wing has the Dragon Link antenna here. I've left the receiver attached because the antenna and the both of the servo leads connect to it and there's only one more lead to the motor uh, wire lead as well to the RSSI if you use that. But it's assembled like this. So it's simply pulled apart like that. There are two carbon arrow shafts. One is in each wing. One serves as the spar and the other one is a pusher to install the spar into place. So you can see this protruding here. That's just pushed in. And I grab the pusher mid-span to push the main spar into place, into the wing in this central location here. Then the vertical stabilizers are deployed. You'll see there's Velcro originating from the lower surface of the wing. It goes through the vertical stabilizer, passes th through the side here, and that is engaged like that. Same with this side. And so now the main wing is ready for mounting. Now the rubber bands stay with the fuselage. I like to put two right against the fuselage as friction for the wing mount. And then the remaining rubber bands hang out inside. So the wing is placed centered against the motor mount if you've chosen to bring that up. And then around the arrow shaft which protrudes rearward. Like that. And then the receiver is just attached like this. Placed back in. Tape closed. And then for the canard, It has no control surfaces, therefore no wire leads, and that's placed centered. And the rubber pans are placed over it, like this. Batteries are placed in the nose under the canard, right here. I've typically used two 2200 milliamp hour three cells, but there's room enough for four in there stacked a certain way, and there's even more room uh, in this location for more batteries if you chose to do so, or that could be used for video gear for FPV purposes, of course. And this is just magneted or taped down so that it's ready to fly. So the breakdown goes like this. The hatch is opened. Rubber bands are removed and stowed there. The receiver is disconnected. The wing is dismounted like that. Vertical stabilizers are collapsed. And the pusher is used to push the spar out like that into the central position so that it breaks cleanly right there. And there's the main wing collapsed. And then the canard rubber bands are removed. And the canard comes off. And everything's nested nicely together like that. Here's the larger cord version with a seven inch canard, a seven inch main wing with a one and a half inch control surface. Also 32 inches in length and governed by the uh, fuselage. The canard itself is actually 30 inches in length, and the main wing is also 30 inch in its folded position. This one is, uses a slightly different assembly mechanism, where each of these wings is equipped with a carbon arrow shaft channel inside for additional rigidity for improved strength. And the spar is another carbon arrow shaft which fits inside it with a small pusher section. So the wing is just straightened like that the main 
spar is pushed into place and then the pusher is used to seat the main spar in its center position so it goes carbon arrow shaft main spar carbon arrow shaft so it's doubled in its central 30 sections 30 inch section makes for a fairly rigid wing and then the vertical stabilizers are deployed the same way with velcro Note the Dragon Link uh, receiver antenna is at the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer and then the ground plane lead uh -huh. uh, just trails behind. It's placed on the fuselage. The rubber bands are secured around the main wing. The motor lead is attached to the receiver. Placed inside. The lid is secured. And it can be designed so that it fits just beneath the main wing there, so it makes the tape uh, somewhat redundant. And then the canard wing is placed similarly right on the front there. And similarly the canard can be moved forward and the hatch secured beneath it and or tape can be used like that or magnets to secure the canard and so that that is now ready to fly and the big one is broken down like this so the rubber bands are removed from the main wing stowed inside receiver disconnected i like to leave mine connected to the wing but it could be left inside the fuselage vertical stabilizers are retracted and the spar is removed enough to permit it being stowed back and inside itself like that and so there's the main wing collapsed and then the canard rubber bands are removed and that's ready to go